With action and suspense out of the Old West comes the most famous hero of them all, Hopalong Cassidy, starring William Boyd. The Ring of the Silver Spurs heralds the most amazing man ever to ride the prairies of the early West, Hopalong Cassidy, the same Hoppy you cheer in motion pictures, and the same California you've laughed at a million times. Raw courage and quick shooting have built a legend around this famous hero. Hopalong is a name to be feared, respected, and admired. For this great cowboy rides the trails of adventure and excitement. William Boyd as Hopalong Cassidy and Andy Clyde as California. What's our story this time, Hoppy? We call this one the Killers of Lion Canyon. California and I were riding in the Skeleton Mountains. That's a range not far west of the Bar 20 where an old pal of mine had taken up homestead a few years back. He had written to me what good grass there was, and I thought we might use some of it for Bar 20 range. We were just getting up to where the pine trees grow. The horses had their heads down as they worked their way up a steep canyon trail. Hoppy, this here mountain air sure makes a man hungry, (laughs) don't it? (laughs) Back there on the prairie, we cook more than you could eat. Yeah, yeah, I know, but uh, there's something about this here altitude. (laughs) Oh, gone. Hoppy, I thought you had friends around here. That ain't no friendly greeting. No, it isn't. Wait a minute. Look. There's someone coming. I don't know this man, California. Get ready. Guns right here in my hand. Howdy, friends. Howdy. Hey, put away your guns. I I apologize for the shooting. My mistake, friends. I I thought you was a mountain lion. Do we look like mountain lions, mister? <laughs> no, not at close range. I, uh, I saw something move, and this is Lion Canyon, and it's full of hungry critters. Sure, and that makes her mean, like me. I'm hungry, too, and uh, when Never somebody... mind, uh, California. I, uh, I guess you must be strangers in here. I'm Lou Rucker. If there's anything I can do, just name it. Cassidy's my name, and this is California Carlson. It, uh, it wouldn't be hop along, Cassidy, would it? It would. Well, I'm sure proud to meet you men. Now, if I can help you in any way, you just go right ahead and ask. That's kind of you, Rucker. I'm looking for an old friend of mine, Ray Wilson, a homesteader. He took out some land at a place called Paradise Flats. Ray, uh, Wilson? Well, uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, Wilson was moving out. Moving out? That doesn't sound like Ray. Would anything be running him out, Rucker? Well, when a man can't make a living, he moves, don't he, Cassidy? I, I tell you, you ride up to the Paradise Flats store and ask about him. How do we get to the Paradise store? Follow this trail a short piece till it forks. Hey, turn right. The left fork won't take you nowhere. I see. Turn right, not left. Yeah, that's it. The left fork continues on up in Lion Canyon. Them varmints will jump a man any time. They're that bad, are they? Well, thank you, Rucker. I hope we'll see you again. Come on, California. Hoppy, that Rucker feller seems real friendly. Yeah, too friendly. Uh, what you mean? I think he took a shot at us for one thing. And I don't remember Ray Wilson as a man who would move away from a good piece of grassland. Ah, uh, Hoppy, you're just looking for trouble. I'm not looking for it, but I'm beginning to smell it. Well, here's the forks. We turn left. Uh, uh, hey, 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 hold on, hold Rucker said turn right. That's why we're going left. Rucker was too anxious. There must be something in this Lion Canyon, something Rucker doesn't want us to see. California, look. There's a horse running up the trail. And no rider on him. Let's go. That broomtail sure is running, Hoppy. We ain't never going to catch up with him. I know, but we can trail it and find out about the owner. Must be headed toward a ranch somewhere. Say, what you seeing, Hoppy? There's something else ahead. Can't make it out just yet. Looks like a man. Eh, you ain't wrong either. There, that is a man, all right. Laying there aside the creek. Yeah, and he's laying face down. Hold up a minute. Let's get down and have a look. Now then, here. Turn him over. Gee, Hossafat. Look at that face. Clawed by a mountain lion, sure enough. And that isn't all of it. This is Ray Wilson. <laughs> Now, back to Hopalong Cassidy and our story, The Killers of Lion Canyon. Riding to see Ray Wilson, Hoppy and California are fired upon by Lou Rucker, 
who claims he was shooting at a mountain lion. Not trusting Rucker, Hoppy ignores his warning to stay out of Lion Canyon. There, they come upon a riderless horse, and soon afterwards, an unconscious man, Ray Wilson. Uh, that's lucky we got here as soon as we did. He isn't dead. It ain't the lion's fault. It done its best. Maybe Wilson was climbing this here cliff where the water comes over. He might have fell off and the lion jumped him. That uh, could have knocked him out. If it was a lion. I'm not so sure. Anyway, this bandana stops the blood. Now help me get him up on my horse. Steady him now. Let me swing up first. Uh, all right. We'll get him here in front of me in the saddle. There we are. <clears throat> Good thing he ain't triplets the size of him. I, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold still, you old lop ear. You, you. I think we can track that riderless horse. We'll get somewhere. Maybe to Paradise Flats. Yeah, and maybe we'll get someplace where we don't want to be. But let's go. <laughs> Well, there's the Paradise Flats General Store. But that horse, that isn't a riderless one. Sure ain't. That's uh, Palomino. Yeah, it is. The same kind Rucker was riding. What you figure that means, Hoppy? Trouble. Say, uh, look over there, across from the store. Looks like an old mine tunnel with the entrance boarded up. Yeah, but there are a lot of old mines in these mountains. Now he's over toward the store, California. We'll get Wilson inside. I wonder what they got in this store in the way of thirst-quenching, stomach-filling vittles. Huh? Cassidy, I thought I told you to... What's that you got there in your saddle? Oh, just like you said, Rucker. Mountain lines is bad in that canyon. This feller get jumped. Rucker, we need a doctor. A doctor? Why, why, sure, Cassidy. I'm lucky there's a doctor right inside. He, he owns the store. Now, uh, just to ease this man out of your saddle, I'll carry him in. All uh, right. There, I got him. Lay him there on the counter, Rucker. Uh, uh, too bad about this. It's your friend Ray Wilson, ain't it? I think you know that. Well, you can leave him with me, Cassidy. I'll take care of him. I thought you said there was a doctor here. What? Uh, yeah, I, I guess maybe well, I did. Well, you better produce that doctor now. Oh, oh, sure. Uh, Brody? Dr. Brody? Uh, uh, Dr. Brody, uh, hey, here's a patient for you. A patient? For me? Uh, that's right, Doctor. I got clawed by a mountain lion. Uh, this is Hopalong Cassidy and California Carlson. They found him. How come they did? What were they doing up Lion Canyon? How come they was let to go up Lion Canyon anyway? Uh, they took a wrong turn. I, I told them how to turn to get to the store here. And why didn't they? Well, either they didn't remember my directions or they didn't want to remember. Dr. Brody, let's take care of this man. We stopped the blood, but something struck him on the head. Uh, I see. A, a cranial contusion. Concussion, no doubt. Best thing is to get him to my back room, my uh, operating room. Rucker, you carry him. I'll do the carrying. Oh, yeah. No need of that, Cassidy. He's in good hands now. Uh, Hey, you just leave him with us. Rucker, when this man comes to, I want to hear what he has to say. Maybe you understand why. Is that accusing me of something, Cassidy? I don't accuse until I have all the facts, Rucker. But I might do some accusing when Ray Wilson gives me the facts. Hoppy, uh, there's a wagon outside. Uh, there's a woman and a boy in it. Rucker, take the patient into the back room before Mrs. No, Wilson... No, Rucker, keep your hands off. Have you seen Ray? Yeah. Dad's horse came home without him. And... <gasps> Dad. Dad. Oh, Ray. Ray isn't dead, ma'am. Now, please don't worry. Uh, Hoppy, uh, do you want me to try Hoppy? and... Uh... Why, you're Hopalong Cassidy. And you're California. Ray was always talking about you, too. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. This is our boy, Jimmy. How are you, son? Mrs. Wilson, Dr. Brody says he can help Ray. What do you think? Dr. Brody? Since when was he a doctor? That's just what I thought. Brody, I didn't think you were even a horse doctor. Mrs. Wilson, how far is it to your place? Only a mile, just over and down the first ridge. Well, I hate to move, Ray, but we must. California, you ease Ray up and get him out to the wagon. Cassidy, I'm warning you. Don't you move that man. Save your breath, Rucker. Go ahead, California. Mrs. Wilson, you and Jimmy, too. I'll be out in a minute. Hoppy, I hate to leave you with these rattlesnakes, but uh, you're the boss. Uh, help me hoist Ray onto my shoulder. Uh, uh, all right. I'm holding the door for you, California. Yeah. Rucker, you letting them get away with this? Unless you've got any better ideas, Brody, shut up. Rucker, that's very good advice. And I got some for you, too, Cassidy. Get out of this country. 
You and that partner of yours. Not till after we've heard Ray Wilson talk. If it's trouble you're looking for, Wrecker, let's have it now. Yeah. You're plenty fast on the draw, Cassidy. But that ain't my way. No. You have what you call mountain lions do your fighting. Well, Wrecker, tell your lions they can find me at Ray Wilson's place any time tonight. <laughs> All right, Mrs. Wilson. You've done what you can for Ray. He'll come out of it soon. He's comfortable on this couch, and let's just leave him a while. Oh, Hoppy, I'm so grateful to you in California. Now, please sit down. Any place. Oh, I, I didn't notice it's getting dark. I, I'd better light this table lamp. There. That's better. Jimmy, stay near your father and call me if he stirs any. Uh, ain't it funny how a table always makes me think of eating? Oh, why, you poor man. You must be starved. I'll go and fix something. Well, any old thing will do, Mrs. Wilson. Just uh, some uh, meat and potatoes and uh, coffee and a little cream. and uh, Maybe a piece of pie if you got it. <laughs> Are uh, you sure that's all, California? Well, I uh, could use some beans and a little hot gravy. And, <laughs> uh, and maybe a small plate of hot biscuits are dripping with the butter and honey. And Hold on, maybe, hold uh, on. I think Mrs. Wilson has the idea. Oh, dear. Well, I'll have to see what's in the kitchen. California is always empty, Mrs. Wilson. But first, I want to know a few things. Why were you and Ray leaving Paradise Flats? Well, everyone has left. We're just small homesteaders with only a few cows. But our herds have simply vanished, two or three at a time. Did the mountain lions get them? Well, that's what we had to believe. But the strange thing is, we never found any carcasses. Mrs. Wilson, why did Ray want to leave? Oh, Ray didn't want to leave at all. Paradise Flats has such fine grass... It's a big mountain meadow. Has uh, anyone else wanted it? For instance, uh, Rucker or Brody? Well, they have said Paradise Flats should be one big ranch instead of being filled with homesteaders, but mm -hmm. they always acted friendly enough. So you can't say what happened to your cattle? No, I can't. We had only a herd of ten cows left. Last week, they vanished all at once. And still no sign of where they went? No. Except last night, Ray told me he'd found something. Something he wanted to go out and take a look at before we pulled out today. I don't know where it was. Mom! Mom! Dad's talking! What did he say, son? Uh, I couldn't tell. Maybe he'll talk to you, Mrs. Wilson. Ray. Mm. What is it, Ray? Mm. Tell me. Don't... Don't whip Jimmy. He found... He found the... Uh... Well, Jimmy, what in the world is your father saying? Why should you be whipped? Uh... I guess maybe because I, I rode in the Lion Canyon yesterday. You've been warned about that. Yes, but but I just had to see it just once before we left. And what was it you found, son? A, a sort of a hole, a big one, up behind some willows. I was looking in, then a lion screamed at me. I sure got out of there fast. Puppy, that makes sense. Lions, just like Rucker said. It begins to make something else, too. Son, could that be an old mine you found? Sort of, yes. I told Dad about it, and I think that's where he went today. Hoppy, uh, what you figure that makes? A shortcut, maybe, through the ridge. There's an old mine entrance up near the store, remember? And the day Rucker beat us over there from Lion Canyon... You're dead right, Hoppy. He sure did. If Ray could just tell us a little more. He hasn't even whispered. A doctor could bring him out of it, Mrs. Wilson. How far is it to a doctor? Twenty miles around the mountain by the road. But, Mom, it's only five straight across. I could ride it. Dad's horse is still saddled out there in the shed. Mrs. Wilson, it's our best chance. The boy can do it. Go ahead, son. On my way, sir. You got a fine boy there, Mrs. Wilson. No need to worry about him. Uh, speaking about worrying, Hoppy, my stomach's sure getting worried that maybe I ain't got the brains enough to feed it. <laughs> All right, California. If Mrs. Wilson wants to start supper. Oh, yes, I, I'd better see what there is. Most of our stores are packed, but there must be something left. Oh, there sure better be, because I'm getting mighty old fired wheat from... Uh... <gasps> Jimmy! Grab your gun, California, out in front. Over there, near our horses, come on. There he is, Hoppy, off to the left. I'll get him. Hold it, California, that's the boy. Head toward him. Hoppy, Hoppy! Right here, easy now. What happened, son? I was walking in the shed in the dark, and someone was here at your horses. He, he saw me and then fired two shots. Didn't hit me. Then he ran off. Could you tell who it was? In the gunflash, it, 
It looked like Mr. Brody from the Paradise Store. Hoppy, look. The house went dark. Come on. Let me in. Mrs. Let Wilson. Me in. Oh, they're after Ray. They shut me on, locked the door. Let's break it down. Come on, California. Both of again. Keep your gun ready. Oh. He's gone. Ray's gone. They've kidnapped him. <laughs> Now, back to Hopalong Cassidy and our story, The Killers of Lion Canyon. While Hoppy and California are trying to understand what had knocked their friend, Ray Wilson, unconscious, sudden gunshots draw them outside the ranch house. A moment later, they hear Mrs. Wilson scream. Running back into the house, they find that Ray Wilson has been kidnapped. It was all so fast, I just don't know what happened. I see how it was, Mrs. Wilson. One man drew us out with a shot near our horses. Someone else sneaked in here through the back door and took Ray. Yes, Ray tried to sit up when you went out. He seemed almost well. I think he was trying to talk. Those two didn't dare let him talk. They had to get him away so he couldn't tell us what he knows. I heard their horses, Hoppy. I can tell which way they went, even in the dark. They're taking the Ridge Trail over to the Paradise Store. Good work, son. Have you got your dad's horse ready? Yes, sir. Can you lead us to that hole you found on the side of Lion Canyon? I sure can. We can go right up to it. It's it's around a sort of a rocky cliff. Now, uh, Hoppy, what intonation's the good of that? I'm staking everything. It's a shortcut through the ridge. We might even get to the Paradise Store before they do. Well, doggone. Now, Mrs. Wilson, don't worry. Come on, California. Jimmy, let's go. <laughs> What's the use of having horses if all we do is walk? And up a stream, too. Keep on coming, California. You have one thing to be thankful for. There's a full moon tonight so we can see our way. Jimmy, how much farther? These here are the willows. The opening is just on through. There it is. See? This stream comes right out of a big hole in the mountain. Yeah, it does. Hold on a minute. Hoppy, that rock cliff we just come around is where we found Ray Wilson, Sefton. That's right. And this is an old mine entrance, high enough to lead our horses in. You got your gun ready? Why, you figured we might meet with that uh, there mountain lion? If we do, it'll have only two legs. You follow me. Jimmy, drop in behind. Come on. Plumb black in here, ain't it? Mm, cold. Oh, cold as ice. Yeah, I can feel it. Jimmy, are you all right? Sure, Hoppy. I never did like being under no mountain. Like being buried in a grave. Keep up close to me, California. We're getting along fine. There, oh! Doggone it. Hoppy, hoppy, hoppy. Wait, wait. I dropped my gun. All right. See if you can find it. Mm. Can you find it? No, no. The god darn thing, but here's something. Feels like a piece of ice. I'd better strike a match. Jumping catfish. It is ice. Yeah. And look, here's a door with bars across it, off at one side. Why, it's a room. The walls are coated with ice. Hoppy, have you seen what I'm seeing in there? Uh oh, and the match went out. Here, I'll get it. See that? Yeah, that's butchered beef hung up on racks. Well, I heard hell of ice in mountain caves, but this is the first time I ever actually seen it. Let me see, too. Come ahead, son. Say. I'll bet this is what Dad found. Well, if he didn't, he came pretty close. Uh, There goes the match again. I'll light another, Hoppy. We don't need it. This explains enough. The cows were brought here by walking into that stream we followed. That's why they never left any tracks. Then they were butchered. Do you think it was Rucker and Brody that did it, Hoppy? Uh, That's my guess. Jimmy, how did Brody have supplies hauled to his store? In a big covered wagon. Sure. Then the beef was taken out the front entrance of the mine. The covered wagon hauled it off to be sold. That's the way the homesteaders have been robbed. That still don't get us out of here. The front entrance can't be far. I figure the ridge over us is high and narrow. This tunnel won't be long. You got your gun, California? Yep, yep, I picked her up. All right, come on. Go slow now. I see something ahead. Mm, Getting kind of light ahead up there, ain't it? The mine entrance is open. There's a little moonlight. That entrance was closed today. Maybe someone heard us. Better stop. California, you come ahead with me. Jimmy, you stay here with the horses. Yes, sir. 
You think you can manage all three horses by yourself? I'll do my best, sir. Good boy. All right, California. Let's go. So far, so good. No one in the mine and no one here in front of the store. I don't see how you know where you are. Turn near as dark in here as it was in the mine. Yeah. Follow me along beside the building. You remember Brody had a back room? Look, California. There's a light coming through a crack. Go up easy now. Looks like the light's coming from around a door. Here it is. I'll take a peek inside. See anything, Hobby? Ray Wilson's in there. He's sitting up on a box. Brody's with him. I wonder, wonder where Rucker is. He's right behind you. Drop those what? guns quick. What is... Now, back to Hopalong Cassidy. I thought you were smart, Cassidy, but you're as dumb as your partner. <laughs> Falling for my trick. Yeah, but I didn't see you. If it wasn't so darn dark, I'd have... Never mind, California. All right, Brody, open the door. I'm bringing him in. Uh, smooth work, Rucker. Sure. I tailed him from the mine entrance and right up here to the door. Now, go ahead, you two, and forget about your guns. I've got them. Hoppy, California. Ray, how are you? Now, ain't it nice for old friends to meet again? Too bad you won't be seeing each other very long. We'll be dead? Well, now, huh? that's smart of you, California. The first smart thing I've heard you say. Well, if I could just get my paws on you... Rucker, I'd... you've done a lot of killing for a piece of grassland, haven't you? I see your game. Drive out the homesteaders, then you take over Paradise Flats. Well, that's real interesting, Cassidy. Got anything else you know? Yeah, I know a mountain lion didn't do the killing. You jump a man and knock him out. Then you cut him so there's plenty of blood. You make sure the lions will get him then. Right again, Cassidy. But that won't happen to you. Rucker, what do you aim to do with this bunch? Brody, I'll tell you. Cassidy and his pal and Wilson are going to be found dead in the morning. Killed each other in a gunfight. We, uh, we won't know why they shot each other. It ain't none of our business anyways. It won't work, Rucker. Tell me one reason why not. Well, because, uh, because, well, Rucker, it seems to me you ought to know the reason yourself. <laughs> Keep talking, Cassidy. I like to hear you make a fool of yourself. <laughs> yeah, and this is the guy we thought was so smart. Well, Cassidy, did you figure out yet why it won't work? It won't work because you've still got the rest of our bunch to deal with. <laughs> That's good. The rest of your bunch. Cassidy, nobody comes into this country without my knowing it. And I know you two came in alone. Hey. Did I hear something? Ah, Brody, there ain't nothing to hear. Well, listen. Where? Wait, sounds like a whole gang. Open the door, Rucker. See who they are. I can't make them out. But whoever they are, here's a lead greeting for them. Tell them on your trick. Tell them on your trick, Brody. I've got them. I've got them. Get on. Get on. Huffy, you all right? Yeah, I'm fine, California. I've got this coyote pinned down. This here Brody feels more like a skunk. Ray, are you strong enough to get that gun over there? I sure am, Hoppy. Seeing that fight just about cured me. <laughs> That's fine. We got our hands full, so you cover them. I've got them, Hoppy. I just wish they'd make a move so I'd have an excuse to plug them. Why, are you... California, take that rope and tie them up. Right, Hoppy. And now for a talk with the rest of our band. All right, Jimmy, come on in. Jimmy? A kid? Gee whiz. What a mess. Hello, Dad. Hello, son. Hello, Hoppy. Hello, Jimmy. Now, what have you got to say for yourself? Nothing, sir, I guess. I'm sorry I didn't keep the horses down in the mine like I promised, but but I just couldn't stay away. <laughs> I knew you couldn't, son. I know boys, and I knew you couldn't keep away for long. To tell you the truth, Jimmy, I was counting on your help. Gee. Dad, Mom's outside. Here, Jimmy? Yes, she drove over in the wagon. Said she couldn't stay away. Here she is now. Ray. Oh, oh, that's Ray. all right. I'm all right, Nellie. I guess we're all all right, except those two there on the floor. Brody and Rucker are a couple of mountain lions who are going to have a nice long rest in the zoo. 
Hoppy, I guess there's nothing I can say but thanks. Oh, forget it, Ray. Just tell the homesteaders they can come back to Paradise Flats. They won't be bothered anymore. Hoppy, I don't know how we can ever repay you in California. Oh, shucks, ma'am. Uh, paying me's plum easy. I never asked for more than a good meal in my stomach. <laughs> there he goes again. <laughs> when a couple of land-grabbing cutthroats try attempted murder and blame it onto lions to cover up their crime, they'd better make certain first that Hoppy and California are nowhere in the vicinity. In our next adventure, Hoppy and California come into town to buy flour and bacon for the Bar 20 Ranch and find the townspeople in an uproar. The bank has gone broke, and the men responsible turn out to be the wastrels of what is. Hop Along Cassidy, starring William Boyd, is transcribed and produced in the West by Walter White, Jr. The Killers of Lion Canyon was written by Mike Jackson, with original music under the personal direction of Albert Glasser. All stories are based upon the characters created by Clarence E. Mulford. This is a Commodore production. <laughs>